Hey guys, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. Today I want to show you how to implement Is Palindrum in C, C++. So if you're interested, let's get started. What are palindromes? A palindrome is a word or phrase that is read exactly the same way from both sides. For example, race car can be read from left to right or right to left, exactly the same race car. Same thing for dad, mom, bob, level, kayak. How to solve this problem? Let's take level for example. If we have two pointers, P start points to the beginning of the string, and PN points to the end of the string. So what we want to do is compare the characters at both P start and P end. If they're exactly the same, we continue. We keep on comparing the characters and move P end towards the left, P start towards the right, until one of two things. We either find a character that's different, in that case we stop and we know it's not a palindrome. Or we keep just going on, everything is the same, until the two pointers overlap, meaning that P end will at some point become smaller than P start. So in that case, we stop. Let's move on to Visual Studio and see how we can write some code to do that. Okay, before we jump into the code, I just want to make sure you have Visual Studio 2015 installed on your machine. So make sure you go to this link here, download the community free edition of Visual Studio so that we can get started. All right, so I have now Visual Studio up and running. I'm gonna create a new project by clicking on File, New Project. And from the New Project window, I'll select Visual C++. Make sure you select Win32 console application. And let's give it a name as Palindrome. Click OK. On this page, just click Next. And make sure you leave everything here as is. Just click Finish button. Okay, so Visual Studio created a file for us with main function in it. Cool. So what we want to do is create a function called isPalindrome, and it can take a constant char pointer and returns a boolean. First thing you should always do is make sure that your input arguments to the function are valid. So if null is the B string, in that case we return false. Also, if the string is empty, we can also return false. We want to define two pointers. The first one I'm going to call const char pointer p start is the same as b string and const char pointer p end equals b string as well we want the second pointer p end to point to the end of the string so there's two ways to do that we can use the string length function to get the length of the string and advance the pointer with it or we can just not even use that right we can say while contents of p end p end plus plus advance to end of string. This will only end when we hit the null character. Let's make it move to the last character. Okay, now we do our while loop and compare the characters at two pointers and we advance the two pointers. At the end of this function, we know that it's a palindrome. That means if we scan the whole string and we find all characters to be the same, then it's a palindrome. This, by the way, is going to be case sensitive, meaning that capital A and small letter A are not going to be exactly the same. Right now we want to just test this, so let's write some test cases here. Let's also insert some non-palindrome strings. Okay, so this is just for testing. So now let's go write a for loop to go over all these from beginning to end. I don't want to count them, so I'm going to use this size of trick, and it's covered in a different video, so please check that out if you want to know how this is working. Pass an i, and then e tests of i. Let me break it down on multiple lines, like this. Then, okay, so now let's test this. Control F5 on the keyboard to compile and run. Now, as you can see, is Balindrum for race car returned is a Balindrum. Is Balindrum for dad returned is a Balindrum. Same thing for mom, bob, level, and kayak. However, test, data, and good are not Balindrums. All right, so that's how we implement this is palindrome function in C and C++. And like I said, this is case sensitive. So if we, for example, have this A here is small letter, it's not gonna work. Let's try it out here, see. Now it's not a palindrome. To fix that, we simply can just come here and 
say to upper or to lower either one is fine so now let's try it out again Control f5 to run again and see and now as you can see it's uh, now even case insensitive it can work for upper lower cases etc all right so that's it for this palindrome please don't forget to subscribe share with your friends and like my video thanks for watching